all of you. My name is Aksa and I am a biology teacher at Petra Edward Training Institute. So today we are going to learn about the basic unit of life. Do you know what is that? Which one is the basic unit of life? So we are going to talk about the basic unit of life. So we give them the name that one is cell exactly so we are going to talk about the cell what is the cell it is the structural and the functional unit of the life of the living organism we can say so this is the basic unit of life so we classify the organisms into different categories on the basis of the cells you know the human body human body consists of trillions of cells we have different type of cells we have blood cells different type of three types of blood cells we are having we have our skin cells we have so many cells so many types of cells okay so the organisms are classified on the basis of cells into two categories Categories. What are these? So the one we call them, we are having unicellular organism. And the other one we are having, we call them, that one is, it's multicellular organism. So do you know what is unicellular? Uni means only one. So those organisms whose body consists of only one cell, we call them, that one is, unicellular and the multi means we are having so many so those are cancers whose body consists of so many cells so we call them that one is multicellular or cancers what are we the humans humans are what we are the multicellular or we are the unicellular exactly humans are the multicellular so your task is you have to tell me which one is the unicellular? You have to give me some examples of the unicellular organism. Do you know? Bacteria. What are bacteria? Yes, very good. So the bacteria we are having, bacteria body consists of only one cell. So the bacteria are the unicellular one. Okay. So you know the cell, if we talk about the structure of the cell, so the cell basically, this one is we are having the cell. Okay, and the cell on the, uh, the major thing we are having inside the cell, we call them that one is the nucleus. What is that? That's nucleus. I'm drawing the animal cell, okay? I'm not drawing the plant cell. This one is the animal cell. Because the animal cells and the plant cell both are actually, we can say, the multicellular one. Multicellular organisms, but their cells are a little bit different. There are some structural difference between the human cells and the plant cells. Some organelles that is present in the plant, that one is not present in the human cell. But today I am going to tell you about the basic structure of the cell. So we are having this outermost membrane. What we call them? That one we are having, we call them, that one is cell membrane. What is that? It's the cell membrane. And the inner portion, we call them, that one is cytoplasm. That one is cytoplasm. And then we are having this main thing. That one we call them as nucleus, which is the, which contain the genetic material. So it transfer the information into the next generation. And then we are having some important structure, the organelles. Okay, the thing, the structure which is present inside the cell, we call them that one is organelles. So we are having the important organelle. I can draw like this. What is that? It's mitochondria what is that it's mitochondria mitochondria we call them mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell what we call them power house of the cell why we call them the powerhouse of the cell as they mitochondria basically provides us the energy energy should be or uh, it will be in the form of a t p because the respiration is the procedure which is occurring in mitochondria then we are having different structures we call them that one is <coughs> ribosomes ribosomes is the site where the protein are synthesized because actually what happened the nucleus sent the information to the uh, other organelles and as a result they will send information over the ribosome and then the ribosome produce the protein so the protein will be synthesized over the ribosomes so these are the main structure of the cell either the plant cell they have another structure so we call them the plant cell they are having another structure that one is 
cell wall. We can have said this one is the structure, this one is the organ, the outermost covering of the plant cell. Okay. What is the cell wall? That one is the outermost covering of the cell uh, of the plant cell. So plant cells also have another structure. We call them that one is chloroplast. What is chloroplast? Chloroplast is the green color pigment which is present in the, especially in the leaf cells. And plants will also have another structure that one is the large vacuole. What is that? The large vacuole we are having. So this is the difference between the plant cell, like the plant cell have this structure, the animal cell they do not have this structure. And this is the diagram of the simple, we can say, the animal cell. So this is all about the cell. If you have any question, let me know. Take care. Bye.